It is my pleasure to welcome you to NASA's Advocacy Day 2021. We are so grateful to all of you for joining us in this venture, our first ever all virtual Advocacy Day. Thank you for your commitment to prioritizing your advocacy practice. Amid the many competing demands and constraints on your time, energy, and resources. A special greeting, or should I say aloha, to our two participants from Hawaii. Our virtual format has saved you quite the journey. Regardless of your location, we are delighted to have you all. We are also honored to have several members of the NAFSA board joining us today. And I thank you in advance for your leadership and contributions. We are proud to have eight advocacy representatives from NASA's regional teams in attendance. Your engagement and commitment is so important to our ability to generate and sustain successful advocacy on a year round basis. For those of you who are new to Advocacy Day, we are so glad you are here. You're about to take part in one of the most empowering and enriching experiences NAFSA offers. For those of you who are seasoned veterans, welcome back. Your experience and your established connections with congressional offices are so valuable. Thanks to your combined participation today, we have 40 states and the District of Columbia represented and will be engaging with well over 200 congressional offices. But know that you will also carry into your meetings the power of NAFSA's 10,000 members. That is a powerful show of force. To ensure that our messages resonate across all congressional offices, we must speak with a unified voice. Thus, I ask that you start each of your meetings in a similar fashion by explaining who you are and what NAFSA is. I am an international educator and I am here today with NAFSA. With 10,000 members, NAFSA, Association of International Educators, is the world's largest and most comprehensive nonprofit professional association dedicated to international education. Together, we advocate for policies that will lead to a more globally informed, welcoming, and engaged United States. And with that, I will leave you in the capable hands of NAFSA's public policy team. Thank you again for making the commitment to represent our field tomorrow. We are so pleased to have your expertise and your passion. <laughs>